Hey, what's going on guys? Hope that everyone will be fine and welcome back to another very great topic on the internet that you will hardly find uh, such a neat code and with a beautiful way of explanation and uh, I believe that you hardly find any tutorial like this. So let's get started here. So I have an image preview here and I'm using an on-click event. So you see when I once I put uh, my pointer on it, it it's, uh, it's a cursor or pointer class, right? So once I click on here and you see that if I grab this image, it nicely inserted inside my border and I click on the save post and that's a sweet alert I have used and that's a nice alert here. So I click OK and that's an image preview on down to the listing. So you can save your image um, as much you can. Let's suppose if I want to grab another image and uh, it will, um, I will save that post and not only the image has been saved here, but you also see your folders, um, it should be inside your storage folder and inside the users folder. There you see you can also store in your directory where, where you have store, where you have your storage. So you, not only the most interesting part is that you see now the images uh, I have saved here. Uh, but what if I want to delete the image? So rather it only deletes the image from my database or it also delete the from my folder. So yes, I have done both the things. So you can delete it from here and you see we have our, now we have only one image here, right? So that's very interesting. So if I refresh this and now if I click on the save post, you see the post is required. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. This is the whole validations and the complete project listing with the delete and uh, write with a very, very neat and clean code. Um, if you want to have its source code, please hit 100 likes, not a lot, and please like and subscribe my channel. And definitely, I want to explain you the source code um, uh, on my written form. But if you need its complete source code from the Git, so you need to hit 100 likes. So I hope you guys will enjoy, and I want to see you in the next video, which will be about drop zones. So thank you for watching, and keep subscribing. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope that everyone will be fine. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you about all the things which you have seen in the demo video. I want to explain to you everything from the code and uh, it will be from the step to step explanation. So you don't need to worry about the whole circumstances and it all start from the scratch. All right. So before installing the project and uh, I have the link in the given in the description. So you can also download the you, you will understand how to install the Laravel projects as well as you will understand how to set up a virtual host and what is virtual host uh, basically it's the route that i have set for my topic like laravel underscore image slash get underscore image so this is the route and this is i had th that's what i have set up the virtual host but if you don't want to set up the virtual host you can also go back to your git bash and you can also do is php artisan serve if i want to if you want to install the very new laravel project installation so you can also do the php artisan serve that will work with the server 127.0.1 at the port number 8000 so you can also run this project like this all right so whatever you see here it's all inside my views but before going there you need to set up your database which is dot env file and that's where the name of the project sorry the name of the database and that's what the similar name that you have here you need to uh, create a new database and that that should be the name of uh, um, Laravel underscore image underscore Ajax and that's the attributes that I have created and how to create them it's very simple all you need to do is to go to your database and migrations and that's where you see you have the migrations with the name of create post table and that's the name of the attribute how to create that it was very simple if you see this terminal down here you can open from your view and go to your terminal. All right. In order to do that, you need to go PHP artisan make model. And the name of the model in my case should be capital, which is post and dash and for the migration. That's what it will create all the migration that whatever the field you have, the name of the, the table, which is coming from the blueprint and uh, the type is string and the name of the attribute is screenshot so it's very simple you can install by typing this command on your terminal but you have to keep remember that you should need to be in, on your root directory 
All right, so once you're done with that, you will have, an, once you start migrating it, it will ask you the length, which, which you can uh, fix it here, app providers and app service providers. So you need to go to your app service provider and type here, use eliminate support facade schema, and you need to give schema default string length, which is 191. And then after doing that, you need to do is to PHP artisan migrate. I'm not gonna type and I'm not gonna run anything because my project has been working, but you need to press enter for that. So while you're doing that, you need to go to the resources, views, and inside that you see we have the layouts folder that I have created and the master file where a lot of CSS is there. So this is my CSS, um, uh, my master file, my meter type head tags. I set up the CSRF token for the project reproduction, which will uh, help you for your form submissions. So that's you can put inside your meta name CSRF token. Um, I believe that's what you don't need it here. Um, so I removed that and the title, which is AB Nation, my app, whatever the title name you want to have. This is all my CSS, very basic CSS. Later on, I will explain you, but I don't think so. It's it's very difficult, very basic. Yeah, this flex, if you have ever used flex, that's fine. But um, the main concern is all about the backend and how the things has been working, right? So this is all my CSS. All right, so that's, um, that's the div. Um, that's also you don't need to have here. Um, uh, that's my yield. I have yielder content, and this yield content means that all the uh, doc type file that you see here we extend it in the other files and pass the content. So that's where you use a Laravel Blade engine, which has the yield property, which is very interesting. Next, I have the jQuery CDN, and next, I have um, the CDN uh, for my suite alert. I will give all the links in the description. Uh, for you can where you can find these all um, links and all, as well as I have passed the bootstrap script tag which is bootstrap.min.js file and the last thing is jQuery validation that's where we have added the validation for our file right so I go to the file which is inside the root uh, of views and where the welcome.blade.php file is there so I go to get underscore image and this is a very basic form all the form you see, it's very simple. Uh, we have used a method post encryption type multi part slash form dash data. I have used an event which is do after select image once. Me, that means that when I click, uh, if I go back to my view, that's on click means once I click on over here and I grab the image and that's fit in, inside this uh, place. So that's where you see on click use. So do after select image is. Um, function and that will read the input then i have created a separate function for this so that want to read the url and the, check the file and the name of the file which comes in the index of zero read the file reader and onload the function where i have give the id in my input field if i go talk that's where you see i give the id inside my image source tag whatever the image i'm gonna insert um it should be where it goes yeah there it is so play, post underscore user underscore image and that's the image source that whatever the image we click on here you will see right here so it will find, uh, get the attribute source and whatever the results we have you will see the image and then it will read the read as data url which i believe it's given yeah that's a function that will uh, already inside the um inside uh, inside the jquery so that will read the file through it all right so once it once you're done with that we have our click even where you see once i click on the uh, class which this class is given on the button so complete order button when i click on the button it will check the this function first and this function checks that if the file is true and there is a file that exists and if it's undefined and null, then it then the check will be false and it will handle the errors. And these are all the functions that you see down, uh, not here, but actually the, the, these are the IDs that I have passed inside my screenshot ID. That's that's on change. That's where I've given the ID, and that's on change checks out. If there is an error, then it will show the errors. 
and that's the id where i have given the class for the for the id for this and that will show the error and this id is given down in my span tag so it's uh, initially it's display none and otherwise it will show the alert alert dash danger all right so next i have all the function i pass the route here and if i go to my web.php file routes web.php file and that's where you see so i have uh, get image that's the page for uh, looking at your view so i go back to the image controller so inside the image controller that's the name of the file where you can see the view um, inside the web.php all right and next we have our get approved complete jobs um it should be a better name but that's fine whatever the name you can you could say that this is the route name that's i have passed and uh, simple that will post the route from the from this function so i pass the route here and uh, if if the data is true means that uh, again i need to go back to my controller i go back to the controller it checks if there is a file and then it will check the client original name and the client original name checks the name of the file and also uh, its extension checks the extension of the file and if the request uh, and saves that file inside the basically the store as function will saves the file inside your directory let's suppose it should save inside my public storage users but how the storage folder you can access it uh, you can create by going to the terminal and simply type here php artisan storage colon link that's how you can access the storage file right so this want to store the file inside your folder um, then it will save the post and if the if the status is true then the message will be uh, image completed successfully and that's what you can see inside here that if the status is true that it will show the custom errors and all these these errors are inside my js files i want to show you so that should be inside my public where it goes the public js and helper start js these are all the files that i have created the sweet alert so sweet alert dot fire it will fire out the success if the text is success otherwise for the delete case i created a separate function and for the custom errors i have my separate uh, separate um, names for this so so that's how it will checks and uh, after doing it all um, it will work so for a case all the listing that you see um, here down to the post listings it's very simple I add the I grab the uh, I get underscore post the name of the function that's more of a grab all the record and and encode it and pass it to here and if I go down to my file function I created another function for this so the function is get post images so that's a URL that's the name of the service list holder and that ID is coming in from this div uh, so I pass all the table inside my uh, I append my table using this id and uh, uh, it will append it we pass the whole table um, listing uh, we have the table class so whatever you see here it's all the table so we append it we loop through it and fetch the data by using the element as a index and the name of the attribute which is screenshot right and that's a path where i've stored for my uh, image and for showing the preview i have given the path and next we also have a delete so again i give the uh, class for the delete underscore post that's where you see um we have passed the delete underscore post that will get the id from the attribute whenever this id is clicked that will get the id pass into the data and on the base of the response it will fetch the data and more interestingly if i go back to my image controller it will not only delete the image from the database but also check the storage if there is a storage exists with that name then delete that as well right otherwise if you don't delete it then the, the, there will be a lot of mess inside this folder which especially um, uh, um, when you have your server running um, live then it will really um, then there will be a memory issue a lot of space issue 
so that's why we have it's very important to delete your folder all right so i believe most of the things i have explained very quickly but um if you have still any issues like this is the on click just repeat that and once you click this it will it will work with that even and uh, this is the table to call this table uh, this is a function get post images and i have passed into where my success message where the my image saved with that route and um, you can then it will read uh, then this function will be called and rather my page needs to refresh i don't need to refresh my page it will load the image all right so i believe that's fine all right so if you guys have any issue um this is a very common css i'm not going to explain everything to you because um um this is this my very simple I, I don't think so you find any difficulty but still if you have any issues uh while working with this whole project if you need the source code um i want you guys to give me um 100 likes on this video and then i will sh certainly upload the source code for this so i hope you guys will enjoy and i want to see you in the next part